This morning, a horrible accident took the life of an adored teacher, injured a few students, and sent another one to prison. Fortunately, it was just a drunk driving demonstration. You may have seen these outside schools. They're used to deter teens from drinking and driving. But as Nick Monticelli reports tonight, the students are aiming to deter much, much more. You may have seen demonstrations like this before with car crash simulations and blood all over, but we're not just talking about drunk driving here. Now we're talking about a much larger picture, destructive decisions. There is something sobering about seeing a car accident firsthand. We're going to get rolling here in a second, okay? And honestly, that's exactly the point. This drunk driving accident was staged outside the Pellerin Center, an alternative education center in Clinton Township. It's a big deal to try to get the awareness across. We don't want to lose any other teenagers or kids. Sarah Bush is the president of the student club that organized all of this. The accident happened after an older brother bought his younger brother some beer and vodka. One person was killed, others were injured. Thank you. Did you want anything? You don't know what happens to it until it's gone. So. It makes you feel really like, like it was all your fault, you know, and you, you could have prevented it by, you know, not doing that action. The student group is students against destructive decisions, not just drunk driving. Like drugs or bullying, and that's a big one, um, about suicide. You really do have to pay the paper. Ryan Bark is the student advisor and hopes the shock value teaches a lesson to the more than 200 students here. A lesson, unfortunately, more and more teens need. In this school, the last about three years, we've, we've faced a lot of tragedies, whether it be student suicide or serious accidents. You know, a lot of students that are, you know, gonna be changed for lives because they, they, they've had to experience these things at such a young age. And it's no coincidence this is happening two weeks before prom. The difference is, is the decisions that they do make afterwards and the decisions that they make, uh, you know, maybe two years from now. They'll remember this car accident. In Clinton Township, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.